So this is a great little um, tool to use in how to actually learn to deadlift uh, correctly, i.e. what's called the hip hinging um, position and movement. Because for many individuals, that's um, a kind of a challenging movement where to kind of isolate the hips uh, with the spine, but keep kind of the knees from pretty well um, extending or flexing. So all you want to use is use a broomstick if you have home, and or dowel or some kind, and set yourself up hip slightly width apart. And the goal here is to have basically three points of contact: your glutes, your uh, thoracic kind of mid back, and the back of your head. So you're going to really use your two arms to keep the dowel or stick. Uh, always in contact with those parts of the body. And then from here, what you want to do is just enable the hips to do all the work. So if I said now, literally just bend over, and but keep the stick always in point of contact, it's almost foolproof in terms of allowing you to really emphasize that hip hinging position. Because what you're trying to do is limit the back of uh, the knees from kind of caving in, limiting the back from rounding, so, as you can watch my knees and how far they flex, I'm only looking at look, flexing at kind of 15 to 20 degrees, but the back stays nice and flat while you're bending over, and that's exactly how to complete the deadlift, where if you've got weights in your hands or a barbell, that the movement happens literally through the hips, and then to come up, engage the glutes. Push those hips back, keep the back flat, coming up.